The gentleman will follow. Captain! Report. The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are rushing. Return to your post. Yes, sir. They let in rabble, and now what these of are afraid hierarchy? to leave their homes. What of him? Will he get his will-earned rest, or be sent straight to Dan Rua? Do you find Durgoff? Oh, yes. He was talking to some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics, not for an instant. I truly hope they'll allow themselves some respite after the coronation. Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an empress needs an emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. Yes, Ken, as queen. His Imperial Majesty awaits. Nin to me a data. Enough. tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north, provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Betcha. We'll manage. True. The barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. 
Change is coming. True. No denying it. Nilfgaard flees. Yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the North Guardians. You take care now. Run, Roach! Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes, no styling, simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a strigger's prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. This Lord Dagwood, who is he? Some relation of the noble. How am I to know? You 
Werferize the Black Ones with a satis. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Varemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been.